Hello my dear friends, this is a painter cat. My name is Catherine. I really hope you like to paint landscapes and uh, one of the most interesting ones it's a sunset. Just those colors, yellow to orange, orange to the pink or sometimes to the blue or to the violet. So many interesting combinations uh, can be uh, created on a canvas. So uh, this is the first tutorial from the Lille serial. We're gonna start from the smallest and uh, with the most simple one. Size is uh, 1824 because for, for the start we're gonna talk uh, about really basic uh, moments as gradient, how to create a smooth transition color to color, also about main rules with light uh, and clouds. And after, when you know you will be uh, really uh, confident with a uh, simple parts, it will be just more easy to add more complicated details into composition. Of course, I recommend to check some references. Of course, if you like this kind of a landscapes, uh, it's very. Uh, it's very useful if you will create the own uh, little library on a phone or maybe on a PC and uh, to collect just those pictures or real photos that actually giving us some ideas uh, for the mm, final paintings. So here we're starting with a very basic gradient color a simple yellow and carmine giving us uh, orange together and uh, carmine plus uh, phthalo blue giving us really pretty lila color. Colors can be different. If you want to give uh, a feeling of more cold or maybe a more uh, gentle sunset, it can be transitioned to the blue from the yellow to the blue or maybe from the light orange to the blue and uh, also you can see a lot of the photos of those colors but as soon as this one it's a tropical landscape uh, here colors can be lilac even violet on a sky also very simple moment for very simple start I'd say it's uh, uh, when we adding uh, water as uh, the foreground part because uh, if we will add little waves uh, we will have almost no reflection so it's kind of uh, easy to add it and uh, we can concentrate we can spend the most time for the clouds clouds is uh, the most complicated uh, detail for the sunsets also, what I want to demonstrate in this tutorial, I will show it here. Mm, I had a question about Lily of the Valley, another tutorial, because there we've been using rubber on a pencil, you know, those ones that are usually fixed uh, on the end. So we used it as a stamp, little stamp, and uh, it's perfect uh, shape for the uh, little flowers 2030 on the 2030 canvas you can check uh, i have uh, this tutorial uh, in a demo version as well but what to do if uh, canvas uh, getting bigger of course uh, those tiny like half centimeter round shape not fits that well anymore so what to do if you need a custom shape of the sponge so it's possible to uh, create it by yourself, to make it by yourself. We need just a kitchen sponge uh, and a cotton swab. Let's cut a little piece. Scissors big, so it's not, uh, you know, we just need a little practice with it. But also little scissors, we will need it as well. Let's cut this uh, rough layer and let's just cut this triangle so it became more round 
And I have to say, you don't need to be perfectly accurate with it. First, just cut it roughly. No, like this. That's fine. This little piece. Uh, yeah. Let's remove cotton from the one and let's put it inside of the sponge and fix it with the tape. Mm, that's it. It's done, it's fixed, and now we need smaller scissors for some final touch. But again, you don't need to be too accurate. I mean, if it's looking a little bit oval or have a little angles, that's fine. Because when we're making a print or stamp with paint, we have to turn our sponge a little bit for more visible shape on a canvas or on a paper. And if you will try to turn even a square shape 360 degrees, uh, you will have a perfectly round shape. So if stamp very accurate, if it's really round, uh, sometimes no need to give the full turn, the half is, is enough, but if it's not that round, uh, 360 always will give you the perfect round shape. Mm, so as you can see, it's very, very easy, fast actually, and this way you can create random uh, stamp for the sun, random stamp for the flowers, for the center, for the flowers, for example. Also, you can create other shapes as oval, maybe, or maybe even if you will cut a leaf or maybe a footprint. So, a lot of interesting ideas uh, can be done with sponging. Hopefully you like this little trick uh, and about tutorial it's going uh, the real-time one with detailed instructions about painting process, color mixing. It's going for one hour and two minutes, just two little minutes for the sign, you know, <laughs> and it's um, available on a Patreon. So if you like to paint it with me step by step, join me there. Here on YouTube uh, you can find all my demonstrations uh, and uh, if you already experienced enough uh, I just hope it will give you maybe some interesting ideas or just inspiration for your own paintings. Thank you very much uh, everyone who joining me here. Your support is uh, so important for me and I just hope you enjoying my videos. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and don't miss new tutorials. Remember, it's just the first one from the serial. Thank you very much for watching and your comments.
My friends, my painting done. Let's remove the tape and let's take the final view. Hopefully you like how it's turned. Uh, it's kind of simple principle. Uh, sunset plus uh, detailed silhouette, but it's looking kind of catchy. Silhouette giving us a perfect contrast with the background, so I just hope you will find this way how to learn uh, sunset paintings uh, interesting. Thank you very much for joining me here and I'll catch you on my next videos. It was a painty cat. Bye-bye.